Tires. Spinning <laughs> saw. Big saw. Gloves. Where are my gloves? Oh, I only packed mine. I'll go get yours. Engine tape. Wi Fi. <laughs> priorities. <laughs> it's not about priorities. We don't have a shit deal about Wi Fi. Okay. Uh, my gloves. <laughs> How's it guys? Good morning, afternoon? I don't know what time it is, <laughs> you never know what time but it's a Saturday and it's beautiful and glorious. Look at the sky. It is warm. We are in t-shirts and today we are doing some stuff, not building stuff, but other stuff. Uh, we are awaiting a delivery of building materials, uh, which will come on Tuesday. So we'll continue with that. Today we're doing everything else that needs to be done because there is a lot. So Chanel is clearing the fence so we can tighten everything and keep ourselves nice and safe and secure and keep someone else secure that you have yet to meet. Um, and I'm going to be landscaping for lack of a better word. Um, looking around, seeing what trees need to come down so we can have more sun, so we can plan our gardens I'm going to plant a couple of things today as well and stuff. If anybody knows what this plant is, please let us know because it has just stung Chanel into oblivion. Come look here. I'm coming to look here. There's a spot, there's a spot, there's a spot. So it's doing something very similar to stinging nettle. Yeah, it's burning. <laughs> But it's not stinging nettle. Uh, we've never really seen this before. It's got kind of spines all along the stem. It's not thorns. Um, it's not thorns and it's got spines on the leaves too, I think. Uh, so if you know what it is, please comment and help us out. 
So the first thing I am doing is uh, these are our two plectranthus cuttings that we brought with us. Uh, so we are actually going to go and plant those along the fence line where I planted the others the other day. We're going to see how those guys are doing. Uh, see if they're taking root nicely. Uh, we're going to plant these guys with their friends so that they're not lonely anymore. And so they can fill up the fence line nicely for us. For some privacy and for some toilet paper and kitchen cloths and anything else that we need to wipe with. <laughs> Here are the others. There's one looking a little sad. Uh, there's number two. It actually looks pretty good. I see some leaves there. Um, there's number three. 10, 10 11, 12. Uh, wow, there's actually a lot more than I thought there were. But they all look really good. Um, so we're gonna add the others up at this end. Um, to continue the line. Yay, let's do that. Wow, the soil is incredible. It's got some clay in it, but it's really loose really dark and it smells like a forest it's this beautiful dark brown color absolutely stunning okay we're gonna put one there and we'll put the next one here Taken root really well. Oops. It's probably not how you're supposed to do this. Ta da! Look at these roots though. These things root so fast. This is insane. I'll put this guy in here. Okay, so next up is clearing some space next to the house. This is on the west side. I want to trim back some of this beautiful big keoboom tree. Um, and then we cut down some tree fuchsias over there. I want to drag those away. Probably cut this little thing down. And probably that one there as well behind it. Uh, just to see how nicely we can open up the space and bring some sun in to this area. you want to break.
Okay, that's good enough for now. Next. I did the whole thing myself. Quite impressive, hey? Because it's also really high. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. <laughs> I got skills. It's a hazard. Yeah. Yay, thank you. Me, I did it. <laughs> Thanks. I wanted to get all of that down so that we could all kind of nicely. Okay. But then here, if we can get this diagonal and eventually that black is down, mm -hmm. this whole space will be inverted. along this thing so it's so easy for me to work. Pulling yeah, grass out like it's nothing. Let's finish, wrap it up. Finish things. Yeah, let's finish that one, then it's done, and then I um, show everybody what you've done. Chanel has cleared this whole fence line all the way down. Look at that. Look how clear it is. Yay. And now she's doing the outside. Careful. <laughs> You're doing such a good job. I got you a flower. Oh, yay. Here you go. <laughs> Throw it here. Thanks, my flower. I like the color of the um, dark canna leaves. Me too. But it is, it is quite sad to be cutting them, but they just there's so many of them and they grow so fast and yeah, they require constant management. They are technically invasive, I think. Don't say information that you're not sure. <laughs> if anybody knows our canna's invasive, please comment so that we have our facts straight. Here's a pan of the plot. There's our house down there. It's so beautiful. This is a giant elderberry. Even though it is an invasive, it is very uh, medicinally beneficial. And uh, yeah, we, we'll, we plan to manage it responsibly, not let it spread to the best of our ability, and use it to the fullest. We will probably actually cut it back quite a bit because it's really tall. Um, and then it will be a lot easier to manage once it's small. Oh, if anybody knows what these plants are, again, please comment. They're like, man, from a distance they look like comfrey, but they're they're not fluffy or hairy like comfrey is. Um, you can see they've got different colored stems. There's a lot of them, and I have no idea what they are. They're not something I'm familiar with at all. Please let us know if you know. Yes, I am. Look how beautiful and open the space is now. 
now that the sun is not shining. <laughs> um, clouds have come over. It might rain tonight. I'm happy with the progress though.